Next is the flow maps. Now flow maps are really really important. Now flow maps are also called as dynamic maps. Why they are called as dynamic maps? Because they are usually represented to explain the traffic flow, the transport map and the total uh, transport analysis of the region, the number of vehicles passing, the number of passengers passing through a given region. So what is done is, here what we have taken is first of all a railway route and the number of trains going through each of the route. So let's say between in old Delhi and new Delhi there are 50 trains that run so here we have the old Delhi that is given and then we have the new Delhi that is given and there is 50 trains running between new Delhi and old Delhi and then we have Udyognagar to Tikri Kalan where we have only six trains that are running so Udyognagar to Tikri Kalan has only six trains that are running so based on the number of trains, the number of passengers, the frequency that is there, we understand a flow map. So what we do, first of all, we go through the values that is the number of the trains here. We find out the lowest value versus the highest value and we try to understand the width that we would say. So let's say I select one centimeter as 50 trains okay so then when it is uh, one when it is six trains what would be the line it would be uh, one centimeter represents 50 trains so one by 50 into six so nearly 0.1 centimeter would be the length of this line between Tikri Kala and to Udyognagar however the line between New Delhi to Old Delhi would be around one centimeter so the thickness of the line that was explained would vary in each of the cases so in some regions it would be very very thin in other regions it would be very very thick that would be seen and that shows the flow now to understand this flow what we require is first of all a base map or a original map with the help of base map what we would do is we would identify the places so let's say i identify this is the location of tikri kala and this is the location of udyog nagar this is the location of old delhi and then this is the location of uh, new delhi railway station so these are the locations that I first identify. So rather than taking this whole of the map into account, I go for individual locations that are important to me and I mark it on a separate map on same scale. Once I am done with this, I understand the number of trains that are there and based on the number of trains, I decide the thickness. So I consume, I assume any value. So let's say for 50 trains, I assume a five centimeter line. So for 50 trains, if I assume a 5 cm line, what would be the line, line length for one, uh, uh, 5 trains that would be there? So it would be 5 by 50 into 5. So I, I would say it would be around uh, 2 cm or uh, it would be basically half cm in that case. My length of the line would be half cm. So if there are 10 trains, what would be the length of the line? The length of the line would be 1 cm. So if there are 50 trains passing through a region or that corridor, I would have a line which would be of 5 cm width or 5 mm whatever value you take. However, if there are five trains passing through it that line width would be only half centimeter so there would be a lot of difference that would be seen in either of the cases and that is the basis for understanding the flow maps